Hi everybody, uh, today I have another video obviously because you're watching this. Uh, today we're going to talk Donatello. This is the figure from the new movie. The uh, actually rather large figure, I have to pull it back to get a full shot in. Um, but uh, I'm going to cheat a bit, this was to be an unboxing, but because I actually tried to do an unboxing, uh, cutting through all the everything that held him into the box took a while. I didn't want all that uh, dead time, so I kind of cheated and I took him out. And I will show you the box to give you a look at uh, the box. So I'll put this guy off to the side for a quick minute. Here is the box, and you can see all the twist ties and all that, uh, minus the plastic shelling. Anyway, here's the box. Here's a quick shot of the front, and I'm kind of going all over the place with it. Uh, I have a shot of the side and the back, which also shows, also shows off the uh, other three in the line. I will say up front, this cost me $30, uh, but I could not not buy this guy because he is outright my favorite turtle. And I just love the uh, look on this guy. The detail is very nice. Um, uh, heads up. It is actually going on for 2.30 here. Uh, oh, goodness. Drop this. It's going on for 2.30 in the morning. I was going to hold this off until tomorrow, but uh, I actually found a way to get some decent lighting in the house, so I figured why not just get it out of the way now. So if I flub, uh, I may or may not be tired. So there's your kind of warning. Anyway. Uh, anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, here's the figure. Here's a good shot of... Uh, his face and uh, his front. Um, the detail is very nice. Uh, I will point out that I don't know if it's a, a detail or a paint issue because of course I haven't seen the movie so I don't know the exact coloring but if you can really uh, pick this out, this is actually a utility belt and it is the exact same color as his, uh, I'm gonna say armor, I don't know exactly what you would call this forgive me, but uh, it is the exact same color. There is detail to it. I don't know if it's coming out so well, but again, I don't know if that was the color they were supposed to go for, and uh, that issue kind of also uh, is in the back as well, where the uh, the backpack here that he carries it is all straight up black. I don't know if that's the color is going to be. Of course, I haven't seen the movie, but I... Uh, but the detail is very nice. Hopefully it's coming out properly in this uh, video. Uh, anyway, we're going to go over the articulation. There's not much to speak of, uh, but we have a, uh, a a knee joint. Goes up and down, goes side to side. There is no ankle uh, joint to speak of. Uh, there is no hip. It's all just one straight piece. Uh, as far as the arms and the wrists go, we have wrist articulation. Uh, it will go all the way around. And we have shoulder articulation, which is, of course, blocked by this and maybe blocked by the shell on the other side. I don't want to force it right now. Uh, there is no elbow articulation uh, whatsoever. And, of course, this will move up and down to uh, uh, accommodate the uh, shoulder. Um, what else, what else, what else? Uh, oh, yes, yes, sorry. I'm mentally going over the notes in my head here. Uh, this piece, this whole piece, these goggles do not flip down whatsoever. This is all stationary. This is all kind of molded into the uh, face, but uh, it does look good. It is a uh, flexible plastic, so there is no harm in really breaking it outright. Well, I don't know, maybe flexible would make it worse off. But uh, anyway, um, as far as uh, head joints, it almost looks from the back that there might be. But with everything kind of molded into place here, uh, I'd pass on trying to move the head around too much because it's, it's pretty stiff, whether it's supposed to move or not. Uh, anyway, I will give you a, uh, a quick 360 on this guy. Again, here's the front. 
Uh, I don't know how well it's coming out, but there's a, a good level of detail, especially down in the rib cage and in his front. Uh, it's very well done. Uh, so anyway, here's the front. Uh, quick look at the uh, feet. I didn't really cover that before, but there's that. We'll turn him on over to his side. We have some nice detail on the arms. Uh, anyway, going to the back, the shell, very nicely detailed for what it is. Again, also, uh, this whole piece, I don't, I don't say, I, like I said, I'm tired. I may have said this, I've done this a few times, but this whole piece is bolted onto the shell. There is no removing this whatsoever. Like I said, this is more of a display piece than anything, as far as I'm concerned. Show out of the other side. Uh, and of course, being uh, that all this is all kind of stuck together, this does not remove, this, this is not something you can take and hold. It is all one solid piece, just to clear that up. Because it does have a bit of a rubbery hose kind of uh, attachment, which it attaches here. But this piece itself is actually molded into uh, the backpack. So I just want to make sure I covered that. Uh, anyway, there is the figure itself. We'll move on to the uh, bow staff. I don't know if this is um, the color it was supposed to be. Another paint uh, issue I have. Not having seen the movie, I don't know if this is supposed to be a straight up like silver metal or brown or whatnot. I would guess not brown because it is. it looks to be like retractable. In the movie, it doesn't do anything like that here. This is a straight piece, straight up molded piece of plastic. But I do like it. It has a nice detail for what it is. Um, this hand, I've tried before, it doesn't quite fit because it's closed further. There might be a way to do it, but I don't want to force it right now. This hand, of course, does fit the bow very well. Just pops right in there. And you can shake it around and it won't loosen. It's, it's in there good. It's not going to fall out or uh, wiggle waggle every which way. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> that is the figure. There's not really much else to say and I don't want to drag this out. But uh, like I said, these are going for about 30 bucks a piece. Um, you may or may not like the designs in the movies, but I think the figures themselves turned out really well. And that face, you just... I couldn't say no to that. That is just a uh, very, very, very uh, overall, just very nicely done figure. Uh, doesn't hurt that he's my favorite of the four anyway. But anyway, there's my review of Donatello. Um, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned something. Uh, I looked on the box, especially for articulation wise, I didn't see anything that says what the articulation was. I may have overlooked it. But I don't think I did. So I hope that helps that you guys know uh, what the articulation is especially because that might be a big deal for anybody who's looking to get this. And being that it was so securely in there, in the box, in the packaging, you couldn't really test that without opening this. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. And again, i got to pull back to get the full, full uh, effect. But uh, I hope you liked this video. hope you learned something. And I would give this a recommendation. It's a nice figure. Uh, I'm not too keen on Leonardo's look overall. Uh, the other two, uh, Raph and Mike, I, you know, honestly, I could take it or leave it. They're, they're not terrible to me. But if you're going to buy the whole four set, um, it's going to cost you 120 overall, which could be a bit steep, so you might want to pick and choose. But I'm sure the articulation and everything else is pretty much uh, straight across the board same. So... Anyway, I'm not going to draw this out. It's going on past 2.30 in the morning, and I may or may not want to actually get some sleep tonight. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. hope you learned something. And like I said, by all means, pick these up. These are, these are nice. These are well detailed and quite huge. Uh, biggest other issue is trying to find a place for these guys, as big as they are. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. hope you enjoyed, and... Of course, if I do end up getting any more of these, I'll, I'll give them a quick once-over. I'll give you guys a look, just for the sake of uh, completion and just so you know what you're getting. Anyway, going to call this a video. Thank you for watching, and good night. I am going to bed.